What is that huge lump? Is it a saw? A cyst? Why does the guinea pig have that? Is it common in guinea pigs? That lump is only present on the left side of the guinea pig. What can we do to help it? This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Tupayo Vets, where veterinary, medicine and surgery come alive to vet students and pet owners. As this video contains graphic content, viewer discretion is advised. It's the 15th of August 2017. This is a 5-year-old male non castrated guinea pig. It is the fourth time the owner has brought this guinea pig to the vet, with the same complaint of a recurring cyst growing behind the left ear, making this such a rare case. When the swelling first started, it was behind the left ear. Now, the swelling is much bigger and has spread to below and above the shoulders. This guinea pig has gone through a total of 3 lump removals in 2016, February 2017 and July 2017. In 2016, a needle was used to aspirate the swelling. February 2017, the guinea pig was operated on and a mess inside the swelling was removed. However, the owner did not want to send the mess for histology. Lastly, in July 2017, an incision of the swelling was made to release the blood. Here's a short clip of the surgery done in July. However, despite all the treatment the guinea pig had undergone, just in a short period of 2 weeks, the swelling has returned and grown to an even bigger size. How can we find out the cause of the lump? What should we do? There are 3 possible causes for the soft swelling, a hematoma, a cyst or an abscess. However, there is only one way to differentiate between all the different causes. The method used is surgical excision. Here is the procedure of the surgery. Firstly, the guinea pig was shaved to expose the lump, allowing the surgeon to operate with precision later on. Next, 0.05 ml of Zulatil 100 together with 0.05 ml of normal saline was injected into the guinea pig. This sedation was given at 11.55 am. Once the guinea pig was sedated, an incision was made at the neck area using electrosurgery. The surgeon then drained out the blood and excised the black mass before suturing the muscles and skin back up. Here is a brief explanation of what was going on in the surgery. When the incision was made, it exposed the mass of black spots embedded in the lower part of the neck muscle, which is likely a tumour. This is indicated by the lump highlighted in green. The lump was full of blood, indicating a presence of a hematoma. A hematoma is a localised collection of blood outside blood vessels, usually due to the rupturing of a big blood vessel. Approximately 100 ml of unclotted blood flowed out, which immediately showed a significant decrease in the size of the swelling. Before the muscles and skin were sutured back up, the tumour in the neck muscle was excised and sent to the lab for histology. This is the guinea pig on day 2 after the surgery. As compared to before the operation, the swelling has gone down significantly. The incision site around the neck area is still visible, but it will be covered up by the fur. So, what happened to the tumour that was sent to the lab for histology? What is histology? Why is it important for the guinea pig? Haven't we already figured out the cause of the swelling, the hematoma and the tumour? No, there may be more to just the hematoma and the tumour. Histology will give us a deeper insight to whether the tumour is cancerous or not. If it is a cancerous cell, the mass will return. If it's not cancerous, we can conclude that the swelling just involved a big blood vessel that ruptured, leading to a massive hematoma. We can see that the surgery has reduced the swelling significantly. Now, we would just need to wait for the results of the histology to know the next step. It's the 19th of August 2017. We have just received the results of the histology test. The results of the excision biopsy show that the cause of the lump was a benign hemogoma. This benign hemogoma is a non-cancerous blood vessel tumour that forms on the endothelial cells of the blood vessels. 
This tumour could have caused a rupture of a bigger blood vessel, explaining the formation of a hematoma. If the surgical excision was complete and the tumour did not spread to any other areas, this swelling will unlikely recur. In conclusion, benign hemangioma is not common in guinea pigs. However, if there is a swelling and a need for surgical excision, it is always good to send the excised lump for a histology test. The results, cancerous or not, will guide you in taking the next step in caring for your pets.